Show Award, and I'm here with Chrissy Martin. And Chrissy is going to get us some information about this beautiful bottle of wine uh, that has quite a prestige to it, doesn't it? It does. It's actually doing really well. This wine is from Cellar Costers in Northeast Spain. Uh, it's actually called Luila, um with an apostrophe L. You say that very pretty. Thank you. I pretend it's fake. I, I have an accent when I need one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's a great Spanish wine. Um, what I think is extremely unique about this winery is the fact that it is extremely small. Um, their cellar is actually in the oldest house in their small village. And Priorat is actually the, the kind of approved area to grow this blend of grapes and to call it Priora. And there's only about 10 wineries in that area and they're one of them. Wow. Yeah. So is that why it's so limited to get this wine? Or? Actually, no. You know, a lot of, there's actually quite a bit of Priora out there. Um, why this wine, they make about 4,000 bottles a year and we are actually only allotted 2,500 into the United States a year. And the reason that is, is because the vines that they use. Um, a really young vine will produce a lot of grapes. But what they're working with, there's vines that are 95 years old, which is almost unheard of. In the industry, it doesn't produce very much at all, but the flavor, the power of that grape, I mean, it's unbelievable because it's such an old vine. It's actually withstood most diseases that have come and gone through Spain and the vines and everything. So that's imagine. why they don't have a ton of wine. Okay, so tell me a little bit about why it's so prestige, though, because... Well, here in Texas, um, it has actually won a pretty prestigious award. It won the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo Reserve Grand Champion Best in Show. And this fantastic little saddle came as a, a gift for this wine. Um, it's kind of part of the award. It's actually second place, if you want to better understand what that means, out of about 4,000 wines. Oh, my God. Um, so it did really well. It showed really well. What that's just in Texas, though. This wine, um, the vintages that are getting ready to come out, have actually been rated by Robert Parker, and he received 90 points in the 90s, and not, you know, they, they haven't released it all just yet, but they've gotten points in the 90s, which from Robert Parker is a pretty big deal. Um, and also, you know, what's really cool is to have such an amazing wine from a family who doesn't even work there. They all work in Barcelona. They all work for different companies in Barcelona. One works for Wrigley's Gum, another one works here. And every weekend, they travel down to their family's house in Priorat and they take care of their vines and they harvest their grapes. So that's probably that's why this cool wine's so good. Family aspect. It family is, it's, it's passion. They are doing this for the money of it. They're doing it because it's what they've done and what they love to do. Um, and I think that's probably why it's as good as it is. Very cool. Well, Houston Rodeo is a big event. I mean, it comes it every year, and people come from all over to go to that. They so, do. It's a huge event. I mean, this can't be just something little. Texas is a big state. Texas is a big state, and, you know, the wines that come into this competition are from all over the world. So for it to get technically second place out of wines from all over the world is pretty prestigious in itself. Now, we're not going to sample this wine. Sorry. Because it's so limited. But <laughs> it can is you very limited. describe, how would you say this wine tastes? Can you give well, the viewers a little information on We do a lot of VIP events for nonprofits, and we try to pour a couple of our wines, and this is always one that we pour. And what I've found is, as far as structure goes, if you like Camus or um, Silver Oak, and those really big amazing wines, you're going to enjoy this wine too. It seems to hold its own next to those wines. It has that much structure to it. But what I think is amazing about this wine is that first sip is amazing. It's fruit and a little alcohol and a little structure, but every sip is different. And that I think is what is truly complex about this wine is that as it opens up, it's completely different. And, and so from start to little, finish, right? Isn't that what they it say? does, breathe? exactly, it does, it breathes and it changes. And as it opens up, you get different types of flavors, you get pepper or red fruit or, you know, it's just constantly changing and I think that, you know, it really does make it something unique. Now, is this one wine or is this a mix of wine? This is actually three grapes mixed together. Um, they have Grenache and Cabernet 
And then the grapes that are really, really old are actually called Cariñera. And they're kind of, they're just a Spanish grape. But what's really cool, like I said, is their vines are so old that they have a lot more flavor than most Cariñera grapes from that area. That's amazing. Isn't that fantastic? I apologize you don't get to try it. That's okay. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Ward, and this is Chrissy Martin, and we are showing you the, say it again, it's so pretty. The Lobila Freerats. Check us out on Martin Ulysses' Facebook page, and we'll see you later.